Welcome to a video entitled Configuring Root Hints. Now let's start off by answering the question, what exactly are root hints? Root hints are a list of internet level name servers. Now these are top DNS name servers out there on the internet. And they have a collection of all the domains that are listed in the .com collection, the .net collection, the .org namespace, I should be saying, and on and on and on. So if I try to go to Microsoft.com and my DNS server doesn't have that IP address, it is going to jump out to these internet level name servers. It's going to go to the one that's in charge of the .com listings and ask it for an IP address for Microsoft.com, see if it has one listed. Now, where are these root hints? that the server's going to refer to. Well, they're stored on your domain controller or wherever you have DNS installed. And on a Windows domain controller, it's going to be in the system root, the system32 folder, then the DNS folder, and then it's a file called cache.dns. Now you should update this hints file or just check it on a regular basis to make sure that all the server entries are current because they can change from time to time. Now generally about once a month, once every couple of months is okay for this, but they could ask you questions about root hints on the exam. So I want to get you ready for that. Now by default, the root hints file will include resource records for the internet root servers. However, you can edit or even replace this file with similar records to point to your own internal root DNS servers. So you don't have to jump out to the internet root servers every time your DNS server comes up empty handed. You can edit that root hints file and have it point to somewhere within your own network. Now to verify and to update that root hints file, first of all, you can go to internic.net and download the latest official version of the named.cache file. And you can go to an FTP site, ftp.internic.net slash domain slash named cache, and you can download that file and then compare these entries to the entries that you have in your DNS server. Now, how do you see your entries? Notice right here. You'll launch the server manager, choose your DNS tool, then choose a server. Then uh, you'll right click that server to configure it. Then you'll choose properties and select the root hits tab. Now let's jump out to the server manager right here and I'll show you. I'll go to my local server and then over here under tools, I will click that and I will go to DNS and I'll let that come up. And then I'll just right click on my server, go to properties. And then you'll notice right here is a root hints tab. Now notice these are the listings that I have for the root hint servers at this point. Now if I go download that name.cache file from internet, I can compare these, the A root servers, the B root servers, to these IP addresses and make sure that I have exactly what I need. Now notice down here, if I want to add one of my own here, I can click add and I can put a fully qualified domain name here and an IP address to kick it out to maybe an internal DNS server somewhere if I would like. I can remove these or I can edit them. So the eRoot servers, if I want to edit it, just click that and notice I can edit them and I can uh, change IP addresses and so forth. All right. So that is how I would configure those root hints. They can be very important and you can get creative sometimes and do some really neat things with DNS inside your network by editing that root hints information out there in the DNS manager. 